if anyone can like get the idea and we get the ability to extend the idea, Uganda can change within a few years. This is Lost City, Msoba East, Kaempe, Kaempe Division, Kampala District, Uganda, Africa. One love, peace and love. My name is Teacher Mavo, professional teacher. When you look at the population in the ghetto, uh, you find that most people have no jobs. When it comes to the youth, almost all the youth in the ghetto, they have no jobs. Unemployment in Uganda is 80%. And basically, youths, they don't have jobs. You just have to create your, your stuff and you start with it. So it's all about uh, uniting, being together, and we learn and we can succeed. With the name's Papa Shante Bushman, well, right now we are here at your space in Cheva and Salo Salo. This space is called the You and I Your Space. It is for everyone. It is for all ages. It is for all people. So we uh, have different projects which are running in the space right now. And so far we have seven projects running. Now, Your Space has just started. It's not even a month. But the activities which are going, for example, you see there is uh, brick bottles. Uh, these bottles which they make from plastic. My name is Leo and the clan name is Akora. So I had the bottle project in Salo Salo area. Just only one of these can really make a change in an area. All right, so we, uh, we get the polythene around, the polythene pe papers that are spoiling the environment, uh, the polythene that are causing a lot of diseases. We pile them and we get the bottles that are causing a lot of hazards, like I've said. Then we fix uh, the polythene inside the, uh, the bottle, slowly, slowly, but gently and, and seriously. When I'm receiving them from, at the counter, they normally, like, they come, I receive uh, ladies, old ladies, uh, children. Some are being sent by their parents to bring them. They make them from home and send them to me. So I have to check them when they bring them. You fill up your bottle, I pay you, and then you leave. That's how we do it. And another advantage about these bottle bricks, they're supposed to use them for constructing. I guess our builders here will learn from this. Other than wasting time or money buying bricks, something like that, made of clay, we can use this to construct something. Behind us is a lot of innovation created in here in the ghetto. A toilet that has been constructed out of bricks from polythene and plastic. At this toilet, we have uh, 15,000 bottles. Yeah, of course, this is the first big project, I think, that has happened in Lost City, and that's why people are coming. Managing this, it was not a very easy thing. We started with the septic tank, which was a bit challenge to us because we had not observed that uh, this is a swampy place. And you know that place when it rains, it floods. So you find those feces flooded with regular water and entering people's houses. So when you get this pit that is built for them, it can help. Uh, we have uh, different groups of people here, like the divorced mothers, the street children, mm, the uh, vulnerable people. Most of the youths were like, they were thieves, we caught them and we trained them and they started, we paid them very well as they expected, as we promised them. And now they were able to pay the rent, they were able to pay the school fees for their children, they were able to 
feed their children nutritiously, they balance their diet. The pollution that has been uh, literally around the, the community, the pollution and plastic that has been causing malaria, cholera and other diseases are the same pollution and plastic that have been used to make precious buildings like this one. This project has changed even the, the people's attitude towards the rasters and the ghetto youths. Because whoever comes here from the start, they, they used to see us sweating. At first they laughed, <laughs> but at last they're taking selfies on the building. And they don't know that they're going to even to use it because for them they think that it's a house uh, being established by someone is going to, uh, to sleep. But they will, they will know very soon that they are going to pull. <laughs> I'm so happy that uh, today we are done with this project and today it's an uh, opening ceremony. This is the first project that you hand it over to the communities. It has been like an achievement in me because I dreamt of it. Very many boys and girls are being beaten and uh, killed, mob justice, because just he was looking for something to eat and he stole a phone and he is beaten to death. So I can see it is a change now. Yeah, it impacts me. <laughs> Although it, is, it impacts the environment, the society too, but it, it impacts me first. But in time to come, all I know, if we are to just construct the first structure out of these, we shall get like people, fellow Ugandans, watching, coping, and they will start doing the same. One, two, three, go! Next, I see like Uganda, Africa, and the whole world, wherever there is pollution and plastic, uh, there is a change. People's attitude towards littered pollution and plastic is changing, and they are seeing it as gold now.